Good morning! Hello and welcome. Would you like to know how Snow Watch is going? I swear this is the sunniest month we've had. <laughs> All year! All year it decides that December is going to be the super sunny month. Is it wrong to want the Christmases of my childhood? We went to the Lake District and my grandparents were there and pretty much all of my family and there was so much snow. There was always snow. I swear there was always snow. I can remember coming out the car once and just poof, face first into some snow. That sounds terrible, but now I realise it was great. So today is a uh, not busy, busy day, but slightly. I'm leaving the house, so that makes it really special. <laughs> So I'm going to do, first of all, a little comparison of PSL and ASL Christmas signs with the amazing Ricky Pointer. <gasps> and I'm really <laughs> kind of fangirling about this because I think she was the very first person that I ever found that I could relate to about deafness. The only person on the internet who I found who was talking about just deafness but not from the perspective of, of like had been brought up in a deaf family had generations of deafness and was really really part of the kind of community um because she, a lot of what she talks about is being out in the outside world and communicating with non-deaf people and helping to relate to non-deaf people what it is like to be deaf which obviously <laughs> is what i do so that felt really good and I watched her stuff way before I even did any YouTube stuff. Back when I think I just had my account to watch Buffy and Faith videos. And then other stuff that's happening today, um, include I'm going out for lunch, yay, with my really good friend Oliver. I say really good friend, I've, I've known him for about three weeks, but does that matter? I really, really like him. Um, I met him at the Scope Inspirations Ball. Ooh, which you can see in the start of my 100k video, actually. Yeah, I don't think we got much footage of Oliver in that, but that's where we met him, and he was just awesome, and his videos are really great. His camera work, especially, is amazing. And he's also going to tell me about drones, because that is my wife's dream. She desperately wants a drone more than anything. And I'm like, lady... I was giving you socks for Christmas, and now the kind people of YouTube have donated some lovely money so that you will get more than socks, <laughs> but a drone is a bit far. I'll get her to have a gotcha. <laughs> Do they still make them? I have no idea. So let's look at today's outfit. Ooh. There we go. So on top we have this lovely little turban from Lady K Loves. Uh, you can get one of these in my giveaway, but I put a little brooch on top of it. And then I have a little cardigan from Mac Sweaters, which I think has just the cutest. Look at this. And the dress is the Vivian of Holloway. I'm doing it like I'm just going to expose myself. Uh, it's the Vivian of Holloway green satin dress that I was wearing to the YouTube Christmas party the other day. Evening and party dresses should be now today wear. Yes. And a cardigan helps that happen. I had to move into sunlight to show you my shoes because look at that. Look how sparkly and glittery they are. And here is a close up of the vintage brooch. One of my most asked questions has to be what are the differences between American Sign Language and British Sign Language? Well, I thought I would show you through the medium of Christmas Sign Language. <gasps> Yes! And here to help me out is my American friend, Ricky Pointer. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to sign the British sign for each thing, then we'll get the ASL version, and then I'm just going to tell you the differences. First off, Christmas. Ooh, the ASL one for this is so different. I actually, this is one of the few ASL signs I know because I really love a miracle on 34th Street and Santa signs to a little deaf girl in that and I love it. So our Christmas is because Christ is soft, kind and gentle and then mus is quite a hard sound. Mus. Christmas Eve. That American sign is so interesting. Eve. I like that. 
Ours instead, like this, because it's the same as night or dark. Merry Christmas. I think our merry is quite similar here. Theirs is more coming from your throat, I suppose, like laughter. Holidays. This sign is really interesting because again, it's just showing the differences between two types of English. In England, we only use the word holidays to mean we're going on vacation. That's a holiday. So if we're saying holiday in the American way, we just say Christmas and just say holiday instead. Holiday. Happy holidays. So again, our happy holidays is just the same as Merry Christmas. You're just lip patterning differently. Hanukkah. So cool that we have the sign, it's the sign. That's awesome. Although I have seen some people in England who just fingerspell Hanukkah, but whoa, dyslexia hit me with a big stick. We don't have such a large Jewish population in England as they do in America, so we don't actually tend to see any Hanukkah things around, even in shops. Although that's obviously not the case if you go to a predominantly Jewish area. I think that's why our sign is the same as theirs, probably because we copied them. I really like that their sign follows through so that Christmas and tree become one sign, whereas ours is very much Christmas tree. <laughs> Although I have seen um, often in signed songs, BSL signed songs, you can use Christmas tree. That was terrible, but that's supposed to be the shape of a Christmas tree. You know, I think I drew, drew that very badly. Don't judge me. Christmas lights. Their sign for Christmas lights is really similar to our sign for Christmas decorations. That's so interesting. Father Christmas. So now, obviously we don't use the word Santa. We just use Father Christmas. But really interesting then gets, again, it's all about the beard. The beard and the belly. Snow. Well, yeah, that's a pretty descriptive sign, so it's the same. Snowman. And again, since snow is the same, we're just using our different signs for man. Because apparently in England, men all have beards. Elves. Interestingly, ASL has two hands, which makes a lot more sense because why is our elf one-eared? Reindeer. Again, pretty descriptive. What's the most important part of a reindeer? Peace. Ooh, I really like the ASL sign for peace. I think ours is more about quiet, so peace and quiet, but also peace and goodwill to all men, etc, etc. Whereas theirs seems to be more of a coming together, which I really like. Mistletoe. So our mistletoe involves pretty similar actually to our cherry but up here, so you know it's about kissing. Present. Oh, present. Wow, this is completely different. That was not what I was expecting. I was expecting a box or the action of giving. So that's really interesting to see. Turkey. Ah, moving along similar lines there. Very similar to ours for bird or chicken. We've really, you know, we went full out with the flesh under here. Saggy bit of skin. Stocking. Stocking is kind of a different, difficult sign to show you in this, in this frame right here because you've got to move up from your leg. Stocking. Although that seems really like a different kind of stocking. You still put presents in it. Star. Wow, another completely different sign. My goodness. I say it's so interesting seeing the differences between BSL and ASL. And I have to say, I fully respect anyone who can do both of these languages because they're so different, but at the same time, the words are the same. I'd actually be really interested to know different ASL signs for other things. Maybe like countries or colors even. Huh, I feel like we should make that video. We should make it happen.
I hope you've enjoyed learning about how different sign languages can be, even when they come from the same mother tongue. For more ASL, deaf life, and generally awesome, awesome videos that I am such a fan of, and I watch a lot, you should definitely go and check out Ricky's channel. I'm going to leave the link down in the description, and of course at the end of this video, her little face will pop up. And now, I am off to lunch at one of my favourite places in Brighton. Yeah! I don't tend to leave the house much during the week, so it's very exciting for me. And I'm very excited to see Oliver. And thank you so much, Ricky, for sending me the ASL versions of everything. Is 82 pounds. That's amazing. It's the same to run this car for six months as my diesel car for one week. <laughs> well, I'm sold. <laughs> Clearly, next car is the electric car. He makes amazing cinematic short films about life with disability. We were very, very excited about the dancing figures. The okay. reindeers in her garden. One of these. What? Yeah. Your mother sounds amazing and like she should be my friend. Do you speak any Swedish? Only the Swedish that relates to Christmas. had a lovely time with Oliver, didn't we? Yes, is Oliver your new best friend, Tills? I think he might be. But now, Julia and Sam are going to come over. That's my uh, sister-in-law and brother-in-law, if you didn't. That's why we talked about that. The baby shower! Yes, Julia, who's going to have a baby. Our little niece or nephew. Yay! It's very exciting. They're going to come over and going to cook a roast duck. I think I'm going to change because this dress is very lovely, but also... I mean, I'm not going to say restrictive, because I like a restrictive dress. But I want to eat a lot of duck. <laughs> and I already ate a lot of lunch. And, um, and I might need a slightly larger dress now. Damn, that was a good lunch. Hello, I am now very pink. Ooh. We're cooking a duck because Claudia's sister's coming over for dinner along with her husband, who's not eating the duck because he's vegetarian. No, pescatarian. Pescatarian. He eats fish. Ooh. Oh, it just came at the right time. Oh, she's going to show off her oven function. Ooh. Nice. Look at this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. And this is what we've got to go with the duck. Mm. Lots of nice roasted um, pumpkin, carrots, and sweet potato. 